Oh, hello everyone, hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to Rumi's Dream. Uh, a cute pink, uh, is it a bunny thing? I, I, wait, let me double check, hang on. Rumi's Dream is a short visual novel from the upcoming Cosmoscore series. Cosmoscore is a story about adventures of a group of aliens from the future trying to save the universe from evil forces. Sounds pretty trite, doesn't it? That's what the developer said, not me. Um, it is a, about a small adventure of a young Bunuff. Bunuff. It's a bunny... bunny fox? I don't know. Remy's a cheerful and friendly boy with a fertile imagination. <laughs> he loves to imagine beautiful and creative things. Hmm. But yes, we're going to get into it, and there is definitely no flashing bright images, creepy imagery, loud and sudden noises, mention of medicine. And we're going to get right into it. Rumi wakes up in his room. It was the middle of the night, and the sound of light rain was heard. He didn't want to sleep anymore and quickly got bored. To fix this, he decided to find something interesting in his room. Ugh, this place is so dull. I mean, it's always dull, but at night, it's even more duller. I can't even go out into the hallway and play with my friends. Okay, I don't like being pessimistic. Time to be optimistic. I'm sure I can have a great time in my room. I just need to find something to do. Oh. Let's watch TV. Seems like I forgot to turn off the TV. Let's see what's on there. <laughs> Meh. Nothing special, as always. It looks like nobody knows how to have fun on our television. Every time I turn on TV, I see either this angry news or boring adult shows. Yeah, as a kid, that's how it felt, yeah. That makes sense. Seriously, raising taxes on the planet Gettys? On the planet Gettys? Gettys? What is that What is that supposed to mean? It would be much cooler if they wrote something like, Racing taxi on the planet Gettys. Uh, go to bed. Uh, probably not, but let's see what they say. Uh, bed? I just woke up a couple of minutes ago. Besides, Mrs. Purpley is sleeping right now. I don't want to bother her. Look at the painting on the wall. Oh, look! I drew this before I went to sleep. These are some awesome doodles with awesome characters. I'll show it to my sister and her friend this morning. I hope those bad guys won't clean this wall. Hmm. Well, let's draw something. Okay, let's see what do we have here. Of course, my drawings. Drawing is so much fun. The world of imagination is the world where I can create something that does not exist in this reality. Isn't that cool? Cotton candy clouds with hot chocolate rain, rainbow factories, there can be anything in my world. But there's one tiny problem. I only have two pieces of paper and both of them are used. Well, it looks like I'll have to leave my room to find a blank paper. Leave the room? Yes. Oh wow. I'm in the kingdom of rainbow skies again. I'm sure King Star has an extra piece of paper. I haven't seen him for a while. He must be in his castle. What should Rumi do? I talked to Cloudy. Hi there, Cloudy. How's life? I get it. I heard that you had a magical surgery a few days ago, so it went well? Thank you. It went well. Yay. I'm glad to hear that. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I would be glad to stay here with you, but I need to see King Star. See you later, Cloudy. You are a brave and strong woman. Yeah, thanks, Rumi. What if I talk again? There's no need for it again. Cloudy doesn't like to talk too much, and that's not because she's mean or anything. It's just her and I respect her. Remember, it's always good to respect your friend's boundaries. Unlike people on Discord who keep pegging me when I say don't. <laughs> uh, talk to Candy. Yay, Romy, welcome back. Thanks, Candy. How are you, by the way? Oh my god, you won't believe what happened. Oh my impod. What? Tell me. Well, you see. Me and Cloudy are now dating. Gasp. No way. That is so cool. I'm so proud of you two girls. Thank you. 
She probably hasn't told you yet. She's a very shy one, you know. Yeah, I know. Wait a minute. Are you sure that you're telling me the truth? Maybe that's one of your new pranks. Of course, I'm telling you the truth. Well, I know I pranked you like that some time ago, but now I'm absolutely serious. Well, I trust you, Candy. Thank you, Catface. And how are you? Have you been released from the hospital yet? A sigh. Unfortunately, no. Moreover, they may make me take some nasty pills. They taste terrible. Wait, I don't remember telling you that I was in the hospital. Wait, can I even correct that? No. Like, maybe I could... Like, it maybe could... Um, maybe they're all anagrams, but I mean, the LM LMR... It depends if it's... Mm, like, if it's a three-letter word, like, we could maybe decipher it, unless it's, like, it's either it's gibberish or it's decipherable if we mix around the letters and spell the words. It could be. Um, candy? What? Did, did you just, uh, glitch or something? Did I what? Glitched. Right after I told you about the hospital. What hospital? Well, never mind, I, I guess. Anyways, I've got to go. I need to find King Star and ask him for something. Yay! Good luck to you! Yeah, thank you. That was weird. <laughs> I'd better not do that again. This time, at least. Yeah, go further. Uh, what should Rumi do? Enter the castle. Wait, get enter the castle, huh? Here I am. And where is King Star? Hello, Rumi. Oh, my Impod. Finally, I met you. Did King Star the Great have any important missions to save the world today? Not at all. I just had some boring paperwork, and I heard from R Rybuns that you've been looking for me. Sir, I kept you waiting. That's all right. Don't worry, King. Okay, then. By the way, do you mind calling me only by my name and not by my title of King? You see, I'm not much of a rigorous person. I like to talk to others, not as if they were my subjects, but as if they were my friends. In fact, I do think that everyone is my friend. Especially you, Rumi. <laughs> your, your help to the kingdom of rainbow skies will remain in the hearts of every rainbun forever and ever. Anyway, did you want to ask something? Yeah, uh, I woke up and I was bored, so I decided to draw. But quickly I noticed that I had no paper left for this. So I came here to ask you if you have an extra one. Of course I have, my friend. What's the matter, Star? Um, Rumi. I really think you should go away right now while it's not too late. What? But why? Something very terrible is going on. What's this? Oh, Run. I'd better do. What is going on? Uh, guard guy? Can you hear me? Teeth, teeth? Oh my M-Pod. The candy? X3 is its name. Oh, please. Uh, hey, let's save here. Fall? Flap your ears! Hmm. Alright, well, let's save again. I want to know what happens if I don't. A door? Good guys? Will you please let me out? But yeah. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Okay, it was just a dream. A very bad one. But my friends are in danger. And my head feels a little dizzy. I still want to sleep. I don't often have nightmares like that, especially about rainbows. Maybe I had one now because of those pills, or maybe I'm just too tired. I hope that I'll never have nightmares like that again. 
I hope that when I'll be back, everything will be alright and my friends will not be scary. I'm falling asleep. Good night again, Mrs. Purpley. Sorry for waking you up. Feels like... Would it be a different pat? Oh! Oh, it ends there. Okay. So if we wake up, then it... I guess you could say it destroys the world, perhaps. Okay. What was that? And where am I? Huh? This place is kind of nice. Laura. Rumi. Laura. Hi. Are you okay, Rumi? Yeah, totally. My my friends, however... Yeah, I saw. Do you know what's going on? Do you know what's going on? And most importantly, will my friends be okay? Sadly, no. We do not know what happened. But we do our best... But we will do our best to find out. Something has suddenly affected everyone's dreams. Yes, Rumi, not only your world turned into something very creepy, the other gods say that it's nothing under their control is harmed, which made me think that only dreams were affected. This caused so many people to see nightmares that were not planned for them, so I made copies of myself that are now dealing with this mess. And don't worry about your friends, they will be just fine. Yes, me and my clones have got lots of work to do by turning thousands of dreams back to normal, but it's actually easy to do. Oh, thank you very much, Laura. I can't wait to see them again. I will tell them everything about what happened. I don't think they'll like it. Anyway, you should wake up now because you can't stay here for too long. Also, I prepared a little gift to you outside the dreamland. A gift? I love gifts. Thanks a lot, Laura, and thank you for rescuing my friends too. You're welcome. See you later. Hmm, sus. That was just a dream. A very weird one. But luckily Laura said that she was going to save the kingdom. Mrs. Purpley, what are you holding? Hey. That's a blank paper! Thank you so much, Laura. You're the best goddess. Yawn. Too sad I haven't had enough sleep. Or too bad? Hmm. I'm going to sleep now and I'm in the morning I'll draw something cute. I'm going to draw Star and Laura. Yawn. Good night, Mrs. Purpley. I hope that your dream won't turn into something creepy and uncanny. Hmm? Audi. Psst. Hey. Hey, you want any drugs? Um. Hello there. My name is Audi. Odi, maybe? And this novel was made by me. Uh, I'm here to answer some questions that you might have after playing this. What the fuck it was, and then why the fuck it is so crappy. You see, this is my first attempt at making a visual novel, and I hope that when I'll be making my next novel, the quality of it will be in improved. Also, sorry if my English is wacky, it is not my first language. Uh, why the characters are so poorly revealed? That is because that was not their full story, and their full story will be told in my next Visual novel, Comascore. As for now, you can count Rumi's dream as a pilot episode of Comascore, or Cosmoscore. Uh, I think it is important to mention that Rumi in Cosmoscore will be slightly different. He will... he... Wait, he, he will be an adult, and also there will be his sister. Also, he won't be a protagonist like in this novel. When will you finish Cosmoscore? And the answer is... I have no idea. Most of the time I study for my university, and sometimes I just don't feel myself, so... Uh, or I don't feel like myself? So... good. I'm gonna presume he's just trying to say I don't feel too good to continue making anything? The big sad, like... Let's say writer's block. Ugh. Or, you know, stress and studying and, you know, yeah, I can understand it. Like, doing YouTube and college university was very hard. Also, the story is not fully completed, but I will be writing it for a year and a half. I think that I will be releasing it by chapters that make up acts. And after making an act, I will rest for a while and then continue making chapters. As for now, you can follow my Twitter, Instagram, YouTube channel to see more of my content and news about Cosmoscore. Thank you so much for playing Rumi's Dream. See you later, maybe. Hmm. Okie dokie. Well, it was short then, a little visual novel. But, uh, I did say 
the the things that were good about it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just like give my personal opinions, so I hope it doesn't offend. But I think the art, like say, um, can we go back? I personally, let, let's go with negatives. Personally, a negative. I don't exactly like the character designs of the the rain buns. Like the the rainbow and overcolor overcolorization is it like a, sort of a furry stereotype that we call sparkle dogs. So if I had to say anything, I can understand why they're all colorful colorful because they're called rain buns. You know, rainbows, colors, but they're just so. They're basically the epitome of sparkle dogs. Rumi is fine in themselves because they're like a normal person, but everything that is a rain bun is so oversaturated in colors. Probably like intentionally so, but also unintentionally so. But in terms of like what I say is good is the amount of expressions and the art in the various moments. Like, um, what was I thinking of like specifically? Uh, like the cutscenes where there was no dialogue. I can't remember when in the past it happened, but like, say it wouldn't fall. The drawings here... Even with or without the filter. I'd say it has like good expressions and cartoon value. Even though it's in like a slideshow. I'd say it has good quality. So there's like a lot of potential I can see in the artist and their capability of drawing. But my only downfall, at least in my personal opinion, is just I don't like sparkle dogs. But in terms of the the potential in character, uh, create like the characters. Why? Well, how should I put it? The quality of the characters, like the lining. Like, I don't know how I'd like overall say it. It's like I can see the the artistic potential they have. I just personally don't like sparkle dogs. But otherwise, story can be interesting because it. It depends. Like, I don't have the full story, so I can't say anything or really critique the story, but I've seen worse out there, and there could be potential. It depends, because I like horror elements, so if you have something that's like, hey, it's a subversion of expectations, a little bit of spooky, a little bit of horror, maybe a little bit too loud and I'll have to edit it, but otherwise, there could be potential, but... Let me know what your thoughts are down below if you have any criticisms or feedback for the developer or your thoughts on the game in general. If you enjoyed, hey, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.